Hello, pathetic store nerd. One copy of Grand Theft Scratchy, please. I'm sorry, sir. That game is rated M. No problem. I have ID. This is a Cal Calzone Zone frequent Calzone Eater's card. There's a free Calzone in it for you. This never happened. <laughs> wow. Teenagers are so dumb. Bart, what are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh. Great, now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday. And I'm totally sick of them. The Simpsons game. Hmm. This is so weird. The only Simpsons game I can think of is the one where we all pretend Dad isn't an alcoholic. What could it be? Wait a sec. This is a manual for a video game set in Springfield. <gasps> and Dad is a character. And so is Mom. And Lisa. Who'd want to play her? Whoa, I'm in this game. I wonder what my moves are. Jumping, floating. Oh, man, I gotta try this. The only good book ever written! Hey, boy, look what appeared in my magic drawer. Hey, what's with the fruity getup? If you're planning on coming home like that, don't bother. Dad, I'm a superhero now, and I have all these awesome powers. Superpowers, huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. I was gonna go shoot bats while reading swimsuit magazines in this cave. Wanna come with? Finding this cave was a life-changing experience. Cool. You found another cliché. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> My turn! Remember, people, we came to this museum to steal, not learn. Don't look at any of the displays. Stay focused. Come on, let's get out of here and find a situation where my new superpowers could be useful. I think Lenny needs help moving. Dude's got a huge futon. Wait, maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the Dark Avenger of the night. All that's standing between us and our mission is this glass. There's luck, cause... Sweet! Finally! Bart, it's not polite to walk on the walls. 
You'll get them all fingerprinty. Can you see where they keep the beer from up there? You are credited to obsessive nerds everywhere. Open sesame! I didn't know you spoke Greek. Hey, Bartman! You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I bet not. Okay. This museum has a strict no punk policy. You are off my Christmas list. Hey, starting oh. next year. Yeah. said God planted in the ground to fool us. You messed with the wrong pally, boyo! Ooh. Hey! Ooh. Oh. Hey! Ooh. Ooh. Want some of this pally? Hey. <laughs> Funny man go boom! A joke, and I'm not talking about a dirty joke. Those are good. A stupid joke. You can't hide behind that flap of hair forever. Oh! Well, it is fat man and little bull. Hey! Speak well, sweet idiot. Assistance to secure Technically, they're on our side, but let's get them anyway. To Springfield Museum's History of Man. I me crazy. Our first diorama depicts early man. One of the traits that sets our human forefathers apart was the emergence of the four fingered hand we know today. Just give up! You're in over your head! If you're talking about school, I'd agree! I'm opening a John I'm from Virginia! John! You didn't yeah. make the suggested donation! Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Wait, I get you guys aren't exactly the Hardy Boys, are you? The Middle Ages were a turbulent time, as the vestiges of the Roman Empire smoldered. Castle storming was all the rage. If you weren't storming a castle, you were worse than a loser. He's looking at me. We continue to the story of Jebediah Springfield, the noble founder of Springfield, despite facts uncovered by troublemaker Lisa Simpson proving he was actually a bloodthirsty pirate. So forget the last part of my statement, okay? Cannons don't get enough respect. You know, 
Tegan! Bart, you look so insignificant from up here! Let's do this! The sun is a mass of incandescent gas. A giant nuclear furnace. Don't oh, worry, they love fat guys and kids in jail. Don't say things you can't take back. Three quarters of the earth is covered by water. The water of life. You could help me. Mercury was named for the Roman god Mercury, a winged messenger. Chip. The thick clouds that cover Venus create a greenhouse effect that keeps it at a toasty 864 degrees Fahrenheit. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 38 pounds on Mars due to the smaller mass of the red planet. A belt of asteroids separates the four inner planets from the five outer planets. My belt separates my gut from my junk. Saturn's seven rings are made of billions of ice particles. Just like the heart of my ex-wife. Constant storms rage on the surface of Neptune. What do I have to screw to get a cup of coffee around here? I've been recording this stuff for hours. Yeesh! Pluto is the only planet not yet studied closely by a space probe, cause it's boring. How often are you supposed to wash your hair? It's bad if you do it every day, right? I'm totally gonna knock you out of your orbit. I'm sorry, Jimbo, I'm afraid. Stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities! We're just henchmen, man! Skinner hired us! Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I, yeah. <clears throat> the city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Times a billion! This Aceraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner, but I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a North and a South Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. <laughs> 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 